What's up, my favorite Let's talk about today, day number four, how to maintain a positive mindset when you don't feel like it. Um, in the last lesson, the last time we learned about the importance of a positive mindset and use gratitude as one way to affect our mindset in a positive way. Um, however, positive attitude can be more challenging to maintain on some days than others, okay? That's the truth, right? You can maintain your positive mindset even when you don't feel like it. So when you face challenges or feel overwhelmed by your responsibilities, right? It can be difficult to maintain a positive attitude. So here are some techniques to uplift your mood and experience the inner peace that you deserve. Real quick, if we haven't met before, my name is Jen Plykin. Um, I'm your holistic empowerment coach, taking you from a place of stuck to authentic thriving, the personal training, group fitness, um, nutrition coaching, life transformation, um, law of attraction, all these kind of things, coaching. I'm really to help you on your fit journey and live the fit life because we all know that living the fit life is not easy. Um, it is something that is a choice and something that we need to do daily and have daily things in our lives. So this is to help you out on that. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow. I'm sure there's someone that you know would benefit from it. And let's dig in because there's some good stuff today. All right, so uh, let me know if you're here too in the notes, in the comments. So start your day with something positive, number one. Decide each morning that you start the day headed in the right direction. Instead of waking up on the wrong side of the bed, right, and setting the stage for a grouchy day, um, resolve to experience something positive first thing in the morning. Uh, mornings are so important. And so develop a morning routine. We're going to go into that Say to then that you can repeat daily to ease your day's responsibilities. Determine what activities help line your mood and put you on the path to positive thinking. I'm going to dive into that here in a little bit. Find two or three things that you can do each morning that will set the stage for a successful day. My morning routine is essential to me. You know, and as these become a habit, add to the routine little by little. It's all about those little things. Remember, a routine will help your body and your mind settle in and focus on what you need to accomplish instead of rushing around or forgetting important details. Your plan will guide you through a peaceful set of steps that will calm your mind and create unstoppable momentum. Number two, set exciting goals. So if you wake up each morning with nothing to look forward to, your mind may quickly latch on to negative feelings that can last throughout the day. Give your, your life focus by setting goals that actually motivate and excite you. Write those goals down and review them every day, each day. Take some small action steps that will bring you closer to obtaining your goals. Um, set aside a few minutes this week to write down all the reasons why each goal is important to you. How will you feel when you reach the goal? You've always, you know, you've set. How will your loved ones be affected? How will your quality of life improve? And then spend a few minutes each day reading through the list. A big enough why can help you to overcome obstacles that are in your way. Number three, surround yourself with positive people. If you want to feel better about your life, hang around people that encourage you and bring out the best in you spend more time with people that make you feel good about yourself and less time with those that complain about it complain about everything um every cloud has a silver lining it's easier to find that silver lining when you hang around those people that help you see it um number four Remember that bad days happen, okay? Me too. Happened to me. Trust me. When you have a bad day, you beat if you beat, don't beat yourself up and dwell on it. Uh, I'm so bad about doing that. So remember that tomorrow's a new day with exciting possibilities. Heck, next the next hour is and challenge. You know, with new possibilities, ch challenges. The next victory is right around the corner if you resolve to start fresh and with a fresh perspective. Um, you know, and these are just some of the su suggestions that will help you if you put them into practice. So you know, really change it up. So pick one. Um, and make the small changes that lead to big to big payoff. Begin to experience the happiness that you deserve because you do by taking positive steps today that will lead you to a bright future. Um, you learn how to harness the mindset of a winner in um, the next lesson. So, you know, combining a positive mindset with the mental habits of a winner is an unstoppable combination. Um, so. Get started off uh, on the, you know, with the right tips. And let's do this. So 
Tomorrow, I want you to add one positive action to your morning routine. Now, I'm going to dive into the morning routine here in a moment. That will enhance your mindset. So, um, attempt to add three things to your morning routine by the end of the week, okay? Keep track of your, you know, compliance. This is the first step towards creating a morning routine that empowers you and your mindset. So, I don't want to just say create a morning routine. I want to actually give you give you how to do it. So I have steps on how to create a morning routine because it makes you more productive. You know, if you have a important project, you want to give it your best shot, right? And maybe you wonder about how you can even achieve your life goals and make that those dreams come true. Um, if you don't have a morning routine, it's a powerful morning routine that and those habits that are engraved in your system. Uh, they have to become a part of who you are. And it's not only exciting, but something worth pursuing. Okay, I'm all about morning routines. All you need to do is audit yourself and take note of the habits that work for you. Um, so what areas of your life could use more stability? Yes, it's not going to be easy, okay? Some days will be easy and other days will be hard for you to set yourself upright. Um, you may be ill or lose a loved one or maybe you are just not in the mood. Some of these things may break you and weigh you down, but it doesn't have to be this way. Rather than allowing the ups and downs of life to distract you from achieving your, your God-given purpose, you know, why not take it as an opportunity for you to learn, pivot, and give it a new perspective? Having a morning, morning habit or morning routines, right, that you can stick with, is the first step to developing even grit in life and self-respect. So I want to go over today how um, the seven, the benefits of the seven golden morning habits that will help you win your day, okay? And these things that I do um, while you have breakfast, you can think about the things that you would like to accomplish in the day with a morning ritual. You know, you have the magic to ease you into the day. Um, you'll be happier, more productive, and have the confidence you need to address tough challenges that come your way. Um, what will set you up for this? A winning morning ritual, okay, is what you need. Um, so let's let's dive in. I love this quote. Win the morning, you win your day. Tim Ferriss said that. Do you know that having a good morning routine sets the tone for the entire day? This The, the truth is there are more bad days than good ones. There are days when you when we you know, dialed into every little detail. And on most days, we simply react to other people's demands, feelings, and messed up or not in control in spite of the fact that having a good morning routine can be, I have a phone call, be magical. The truth is that there is more to it than that, than me say. So it is the science that you can incorporate into your life to reap extraordinary levels of productivity. The question, however, is, is there one right way to ha to win the day? Well, if you can achieve one good thing in the morning, it is as good as you have won the day. And there is a high chance that you will enjoy the rest of the day. Ask any um, productive person and they will tell you that they have a morning routine that defines what they achieve during the day. And hence, accounts for their success and productivity in whatever they do. If I don't do my morning routine, man, I'm screwed for the day. One thing that you have to understand though is that a morning routine are the most predictable parts of the day, right? Because you determine it. But it takes discipline and having a routine to reap the productivity that comes with it. All you have to do is tweak a few things here and there by adding on habits you want to work on gradually to make the routine. For instance, if you want to start working out, okay? Simply add it into your routine. Um, when you feel down, you can write a few sentences about your thoughts and emotions. And the whole point is to make that part of your lifestyle and have full control of your life. This is because when you start your day with some routine and develop it into a habit, you will realize that you will gradually, by adding positive thinking into your life, you know, what better way to build your life than having positivity, right? We just discussed that. So what are you waiting for? Come, join me. Let's learn these seven golden habits that will help you win your day. Okay, so what are the benefits of having a morning routine? Great, thanks for asking. According to the several health experts, 
influencers, and business owners around the globe, being successful is an indicator that you have a structured start to your day. If you review all the interviews on Tim Ferriss' show, you will realize that almost 90% of the highly impact members of the society have a morning routine. In other words, they have habits. They have cultivated over time and made part of their lifestyle. And you may be thinking, okay, so what if you have a morning routine or habit? Well, there are so many benefits that you that, uh, stand to enjoy when you have a morning ha habit and routine. And the good news is, is that if you do not have one, you can easily build your mornings, okay? So the core benefits include, one, self-discipline. Self-discipline is perhaps one of the most important benefits you get by just having a morning routine. And, uh, and habits, right? In fact, according to so many uh, philosophers out there, there is evidence that shows that having that discipline of getting up every morning at the same time is a good foundation to kickstarting a good day. It carries over into the rest of the days and, and the week. And then months and years, when you enforce the act of discipline at the start of the day, you will simply draw the discipline into your various parts of your life. And these include your mental focus, health, work, family, and diet, among others. Two, time. The discipline of a morning routine and getting up early every day is one of the most practical aspects of extra time. In today's culture, time is considered the most valuable asset. If you don't believe me, look at the success that the new, you know, that new time saving technology like Uber, Amazon Prime, and um, Alexa's voice has. The truth is, having the extra hour to your routine in the morning can be channeled into doing something productive. You can cause that extra time to do something important to you, normally that you normally overlook. Right? Limit, you know, th it limits procrastination. I don't know about you, but for me. There is nothing worse than being rushed in the morning, okay? But I bet this is pretty familiar, right? It might be familiar to you, right? Ever wonder why you feel rushed? Probably because you press the snooze over and over until you are late. Maybe you spent too much time um, trying to make breakfast or put together your takeaway lunch or pick an outfit. What you wake up to is realizing that you do not do not allocate adequate time for these activities, possibly because you allowed something else, you know, to eat that into that time. Not having a morning routine simply throws you off the internal clock. This often happens when you do not have a, de you know, definitive waking time. This is because you are constantly snoozing when the clock goes off. When you choose to hit the snooze button, you are procrastinating tasks even before you get out of bed. This applies when you procrastinate your urgent task, you know, the, to the next, right? You have to realize how toxic this can be for you. It does not only in, induce stress, but most importantly, it serves as a barrier to attaining your goals and reaching your productive productivity limit. Therefore, it's important that you start creating a reliable habits that are centered around your wake time so that you can set this tone for your entire day. Hence, eliminate procrastination. Three, helps lower anxiety over the last couple of months. Okay, I've been trying hard to expand my productivity limits so that it caters well to my evolving workload. Um, to my surprise, waking up early boosts my productivity tenfold throughout the day, okay? In fact, on the days when I get up as, as planned, right, I have ample time to ease into the day without necessarily rushing. Stress is directly associated with increased levels of cortisol. This may lead to weight gain, anxiety, and several other health risks. If you have always been in a rush in the mornings trying to do things differently tomorrow, you know, um, simply get up earlier than usual and take your time to get ready. Then stroll out the door and get to work. This goes a long ways in lowering the chances of being anxious and developing stress in the morning. 
It's much easier to dive into our to-do list without pressure. Back to checking off several tasks in the morning, right? And creates the momentum that will actually help you push through the day. Trust me, it is the small wins that matter and pushes you to win big throughout the day. We are constantly seeking for you know ways to maximize our potential and seizing new opportunities for growth each day. However, we must learn to adapt to changes that occur in everyday life so that we can eliminate the feeling of being overwhelmed, something that can strip us of continued productivity. Four, it gets rid of major decision-making. Regardless of how this sounds, the truth is that this is something very important. When you do not have a morning routine, you will not manage your time well. And this simply means that where, when um, there are important decisions to be made, you will spend most of the time agonizing over everything. This is something that can cause um, you know, decision fatigue because of mental exhaustion. You keep asking yourself conflicting questions that eventually flood your brain with unknowns. You do not need this in the morning. Um, as it can be a huge deter- determinant to the rest of your day. So it attracts feelings of being overwhelmed and hence in- inhibiting your productivity. When you establish a stable morning habit and routine that you do not, you know, you don't have to think twice about and your morning becomes much simpler, creating room for your brain to make informed decisions that will get you winning the entire day. Who doesn't want that? Five, as there's four ways enough, mental toughness. Unfortunately, the society we live in today is too soft and fragile. So this is because people try to find the easiest way out of every situation, most of which causes us to crumble. What you need for growth and development is a challenging setting. Yes, taking the easy way out can be rewarding in the short term. But have you stopped to ask yourself what this means in the long run? It is true that waking up early each day may not be fun, but when you force yourself through this, discipline and mental toughness, right? You are um, adequately ready for any challenge that life throws at you. The truth is you will be standing when everyone else is not. Okay, so where are the seven habits of the winning day? Glad you asked. It is important for you to bear in mind that the morning habits will set you up for the wins, okay, throughout the day. In other words, Having a ritual that you stick with to no matter what becomes engraved in your system. This produces small wins that will ensure that you are steered in the right direction. I'm so excited about this for you. For the rest of the day, they create positive momentum. When morning habits are a lifestyle, too, you will enjoy the path that is free of friction and strain. You start your day knowing that you are already a winner. For you, for you to transform your life, okay, you must first be willing to accept the ha- the habits can be replaced, and that you have to the power and responsibility to make change to yours today. Start by thoughtfully designing your day so that you lay a strong foundation for the productivity that we want for the rest of the day. Here's the, some of the habits that you um, that will set you for a winning day for a very long time. Habit one: beat the snooze button. Getting up is something that you struggle with at first, but it all takes to stop hitting the snooze button. Not, it's a non-negotiable. Mine is non-negotiable. Okay, you have to make a rainy day. There's a strong temptation and desire to hit that snooze button so that you can catch a few more minutes right in the morning. However, the good news is you can break that habit. Okay. Just make it non-negotiable. Each time your alarm goes off, tell yourself you are a winner by getting up and a loser if you snooze. Trust me, no one wants to carry the feeling of being a loser (laughs) throughout the day. It it works, okay? It's working for people I work with, okay? Um, I'm someone who just has a non-negotiable. That snooze button is like, I don't have a snooze button. I don't even think about it. Like, it's not there. Discover what's best for you and we do it. So even though... Um, There is no single bulletproof solution to overcoming snoozing, maybe. Um, You can counter the temptation of hitting the snooze, okay? By by simply experimenting different techniques. Set your alarm in the bathroom. I don't know, you know, um, know, 
make it so you have to like <laughs> on the on the cheese bar put a brush you're saying it's prickly there you know um you know decide what it is um you know move on to each attempt um you will eventually find something that works for you and when you do stick with it habit number two get up early as you try hard to overcome the temptation of a snooze it is important that you have a purpose to get up right early understand that mornings are times when you are fresh and have energy and are away from external distractions of the world um your phone will go off you know during this time there are not a lot of things competing for your undivided attention when you wake up earlier you are at advantage um however if you wake up time is 7 a.m try to wake up at 5 a.m instead you know it can be extremely challenging if you do that if you want to get up earlier then you usually you try to do this okay gradually so understand that it is a process and your whole body has to be and be ready for it so you can try with 30 minutes sometimes it's five minutes okay earlier than normal then progressively increase okay to an hour an hour and a half to the two hours or five minutes and 10 minutes and 15 okay just remember to be realistic in every step okay that you take and make it count make it doable for you make your bed the first you know thing that most you know making your bed is the most make your bed when you get up let me just put it that way this is something quite simple and quick but it's something that i consider you know second win to my mornings um there's even a book about it so, so as a burst of achievement and productivity to your morning your bed is already made and you will go back to bed uh, why is the step important part of waking up the truth is when you organize the environment you are in you are stimulating your mind to be organized it is a simple step that adds clarity and calm in your in you ensuring that you can stay sharp throughout the day habit number three sweat and immerse positive state of mind fitness is a big part of successful person's life engaging in simple morning cardio push-ups or jogs sit-ups one of my classes helps kickstart your day um you know really you know look at your fitness goals Working out as part of morning routine is an excellent way to turn on your metabolism and brain. You will feel motivated, happy, and full of energy. That serotonin, you know, gets you going. That will steer you towards conquering the rest of your day. And all the activities you have to think about, oh man, after work, I need to work out. It's done. After turning your mind through physical exercise, it's important that you allow your mind to immerse in a positive thought process. You know, sit on the floor mat with your feet crossed. Close your eyes and think about the things that will bring positivity to your day. Do you want to be grateful, excited, focused, inspired? Try to answer these questions in your mind. What are the things that you are grateful for today? What inspires you? What excites you? Allowing your mind to tap into the positive thoughts allows you to get rid of uh, yourself of sadness and anxiety. In other words, are you training your mind to look forward to the best that the day has to offer? You will realize that gradually you will begin transforming into an enthusiastic, optimistic person by focusing on your top priorities each day. Allow yourself to make the most of your efforts and expertise, you know, on reaping tangible results disconnect from the world you know it's very important that you disconnect from the world for a while around you the best way to achieve this is by allowing yourself to reconnect with nature um if you can take a walk around your garden you know around you know for 30 minutes this indeed is one way in which you can exercise mindfulness try to collect your thoughts together and focus on the best parts of the day that lay ahead of you you can also do yoga or choose to sit silently in the room. Whatever works for you, but give yourself some time to reflect. You know, great time to pray. All you need is to recreate a routine around your time so that you can achieve a level of comfort that blends well into your lifestyle. Whatever you do, make sure that you are focusing on the present rather than the past. Habit number four. Write down your to-do list goals and what you want to achieve for the day. Or you can even, I do this the night before. So to begin the journey towards achieving your dreams, the first thing for you to do is identify exciting goals that will push you forward. In fact, according to a study, 
Oh gosh, from the University of California, people who write down their goals are more likely to achieve them than those who don't. So when you write down your goals, you are increasing the effectiveness of them, realizing and realizing them. So man, we normally just write down our goals at the beginning of the year, right? But we incorporate this as part of a morning routine. It's a sign that you are declaring to yourself your intentions for the day. Um, it's crystallizing your goals in your mind so that you are, in, you know, they are engraved deeper into your subconscious brain. It's a signal to your, your brain that achieving these goals is important. Um, as a result, your brain will work hard towards achieving them, you know, each one of them. By making sure that you treat, you know, every single project you handle during the day with the level of seriousness that will give you a win. You know, in other words, your brain will push you towards realizing your dreams. Habit number five, focus on each task at a time. At a time. So if you're handling a project, there's a short-term or long-term goals, right? Each goal has some tasks and activities that you need to perform to realize that goal. Once you have this figured out in the previous step, right, you will have to start focusing closer attention to each task. Pick one task at a time and focus on it. It could be a new project, a new business, an idea, or something that you just have to work on. When you allow your mind to focus on one task at a time, you are simply brainstorming on the ideas that might be brilliant in, the, in being productive and successful. Okay, It simply tells the mind that these are tasks that are top priority and the result should be beneficial to scaling the business okay or your life or whatever so if you're taking a leadership role um think of various ways in which you can lead your team to win every day habit number six visualize all power visualization visualize yourself and your dream life how do you envision your dream life to be everyone take a few minutes to see yourself living your dream and the steps that you need to do together picture the steps Okay, your dreams need to sink deep into your mind and engage for a couple minutes using all your senses to do this. So have you been dreaming of a vacation in Paris? Watch yourself enjoying that vacation and watch yourself accomplishing the steps that you need to to get to that place. Okay, imagine yourself checking off that checklist. How do you feel walking the streets of Paris, shopping around, eating French food, and sipping that glass of wine in one of the most beautiful cities in the world? Um, what sound can you hear around you when you are taking that cup of cappuccino, right? Um, or mocha in the cafe of your dream. Yes, it may be hard to achieve ambitious life goals, um, but you will encounter plateaus and valleys during the journey that might cause you to want to settle for an ordinary lifestyle. But you can start tapping into your mind by seeing yourself living your ideal, ideal day in life. You know, when you start seeing yourself living the dream, you will start feeling a new rush of strength and energy that will motivate you and inspire you to keep going. Um, it is only then that you will begin to have a full clarity of the meaning and purpose of your goals. In life, you'll get new perspective on how you can forge ahead and overcome the dark hours, trust me, in your journey, there's so many of them, as you pursue your dreams with a lot of zeal. Habit number seven, last one, work towards your dreams. As part of your morning habit, it is essential that you make progress towards accomplishing your biggest dreams, okay? Before you dive into the daily chores, set aside at least five minutes to meditate on your dreams. As your dreams begin to grow, you can increase you know, the amount of time that you spend working on these things. Rather than giving up the first few hours of your morning to running errands, channel that to the project that excites you. It could be that you are working on a new book project, okay? Spend a few hours writing something, okay? Even if, like I said, if it's just a 30 minutes, you know, simply use that time when you are fresh to fuel your power before the busyness of the day, you know, before that your tank runs dry take advantage of full willpower you have in the morning to bring out tangible results of that project what's your dream what do you really want to accomplish maybe you want to spend more time with your kids and spend that time with your kids remember that if you channel the energy and activities that do not matter the most in your life you will find yourself going down a path that does not help you achieve your set goals and dreams ask yourself whether 
that project will lead you to the bigger picture. If it's a small part of the big picture, then you are guaranteed that your efforts will yield fruit that each step you take draws you closer to your destination, right? When you eventually add the small wins together from the morning habits, you will create a ripple of victories that will keep you powering your days. It is these small wins that will give you more confidence and keep you equipped to handle every challenge that arises during the day. It really doesn't matter you know, how difficult these challenges are because if you have a strong belief in great habits, you can achieve anything. I know that for sure. So you have to understand that your morning does not have to be rough. When you allow this to sink into your spirit, you will get up each morning with enthusiasm. You will position yourself to seize every opportunity that comes your way. And putting your best, you know, work out for more productive for the entire day. So you're going to make your day productive. Yes, it may be daunting to, to uh, you know, overall the whole routine at once. But don't do that. Start with the small stuff and work your way to becoming better each day. Okay? You know, introduce new habits and practices gradually to make a more robust routine. Just remember, if you win the morning, you win the rest of your day. So what is it going to be like for you this year? You are a champion and all that matters is a win. All right, if you are seriously interested and you need some help in this area, I actually do have a course that leads you day by day to setting up your morning routine. It is in the show notes, um, so make sure you check it out. Click that link. Um, you can also um, get the download from today, obviously. Of, uh, there's the download link, and when you go download the the um, link from today, it will take you to the next page where it will have this, where you can actually, where we will have my um, course, an option to opt in if you'd like to take the course that I have for you. Um, and there's an option too, if, depends on when you're watching this. If you're watching this live with me this week, then I actually have a live version you can do with me where I will be actually doing the trainings live. You can do the replay with it, but where I'll be I have a Facebook group for accountability and stuff. So if you're serious about doing your mornings, Check out my course. Go download the free PDF of all everything from today, everything I said, along with an affirmation, a couple other things, and then sign up for the course. It's worth it. Um, if you're really serious, I'm huge about mornings. Um, the reason why I can be successful in life, because of my mornings. Um, they said they're non-negotiable with this news tab. I have certain things I do every single morning, and it sets me up for huge success. If you can win your mornings, you win your day, and that is so true. There's nothing like a good morning routine. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow, comment, and com make a comment. Do you have a morning routine? And if so, what's one thing that you would like to share with everybody else that you think makes your morning routine um, so important and makes the difference in your day? Let's learn from one another. If you don't have a morning routine, are you going to give it a try? What are your questions? Let me know. Let me answer them. All right, tribe. I'll see you tomorrow. Be brave. Be kind. Live authentically. And always try. Remember, you're just one habit away. And that habit might be what? Morning routines. Let's add something in this week. Or tomorrow. Starting tomorrow. Add at least one thing.